Hi, I am Dipanay and I am going to present our work CIDR, Common Sense Inference for Dialogue Explanation and Reasoning. This is joint work with my collaborators at ACTD Singapore and University of Michigan. So in this presentation, I will first introduce the topic, which is dialogue explanation and reasoning. I will motivate the problem with some examples. Then I will briefly go through how we created this CIDR dataset. I will also present the tasks that we designed to evaluate dialogue level common sense reasoning. And finally, I will present some results and key takeaways from our paper. So understanding and explaining a conversation requires the decomposition of dialogues concepts such as entities, events, and actions, and also connecting them through definitive relations. The process of breaking down a dialogue into such explanations is grounded in the conversational context and often requires common sense inference. If we express the explanations in the form of knowledge triplets, as uh, shown here in the figure on the right, then it can describe the common sense relation through which the concepts are related in that particular conversation. For example, we have instances of causal, uh, temporal, and other kinds of uh, common sense relation between the concepts in this particular dialogue. Our goal is to explain a dialogue by using this common sense inferred triplets. Now, of course, this form of explanation may not be complete, but it can provide a substantial understanding of the dialogue by breaking it down into contextual triplets. So in this work, we introduce CIDR dataset, which has these kind of annotated triplets extracted from dialogues. Now the triplets in the dataset can be categorized into two classes, depending upon how they are formed. Number one is explicit, which is uh, shown here in the left, where the explanation is word verbatim in the triplet. So these kind of triplets can be easily extracted out by a parser by using syntactic clues or pattern matching. And number two is implicit, which is uh, shown here on the right, where the explanation is entirely contextual and it makes it more difficult for machines to infer as it requires a more complex form of reasoning and understanding the dialogue. Now, among these two types, the implicit triplets are much more interesting as they involve non-trivial inference, which becomes even more challenging on dialogues due to the latent background knowledge are shared between the speakers of the conversation. Now, as I mentioned earlier, annotating implicit triplets often requires multi-step reasoning. In such cases, one or more intermediate spans, which might not be present in the dialogue, could be required to explain the relation between the constituting spans. For instance, we have an example here connecting the spans cell phone is out of service again and lend me some money requires us to go through a latent span with different intermediate relations. So to summarize our motivation of using dialogues and common sense, we notice that implicit knowledge is mostly contextual and requires multi utterance reasoning. These implicit knowledge can then be expressed in the form of triplets, which are basically common sense explanations of different aspects of the dialogue. And finally, compared to monologues, dialogues are much richer source of implicit knowledge as it is interlocutor dependent and involves subtle kinds of background knowledge. So now moving on to the details of the CIDR dataset. The dataset was annotated by three PhD students who work on natural language processing and have thorough knowledge about the task. We used a web-based tool, which is called BRAT, to create the annotations. And the dialogues that we annotate were obtained from three different datasets. In particular, we use Daily Dialog, Mutual, and Dream as the source uh, dataset of, of the dialogues. To annotate the dialogues, annotators were given several instructions. For example, they were asked to extract spans which are basically word, phrase, or sub-sentence units of an utterance that represent an entity, event, concept, or action. The spans of the triplet should be as short and concise as possible. And a triplet may connect a pair of spans from different utterances or speakers of the dialogue. 
the annotators also mark the relation between the annotated between the extracted spans the set of relations were kept as general as possible to cover a wide range of common sense aspects so most of the relations here were collected from conceptnet but we also introduced a few newer ones which were necessary to uh, annotate these spans of, of of several dialogues and the relations were also categorized into different categories for example attribution causal conditional temporal and several others so in this slide i have shown some particular statistics of the annotated data set uh, in particular i would like to highlight that the data set has more than 4500 manually annotated triplets from over 800 dialogues in terms of number of triplets we see that most dialogues have between 3 to 10 triplets although some dialogues have more than 10 and the distance between the utterances from where the spans are extracted can also vary a lot in most cases the distance is equal or less than 5 but we also have a considerable number of triplets where the distance was more than five. So moving on, we design three tasks on uh, this data set that require dialogue level common sense reasoning. Number one is dialogue level natural language inference. Number two is span extraction. And number three is multi-choice span selection. The first task here is analogous to natural language inference. And the other two are different forms of question answering tasks. So the first task is dialogue level natural language inference, which is the task of determining whether a triplet is true or false given a dialogue. So we consider the dialogue as the premise and the triplet as the hypothesis. Now, if the triplet is grounded in the dialogue, then we say that it's an entailment, otherwise it's a contradiction. So here I have shown an example of an intel triplet and a contradictory triplet from annotated from a dialogue. The first triplet here in the bottom is entailed with respect to the dialogue. However, the second one is false given the information in the dialogue. So it's, it's a contradiction. So the true annotations from our data set are used as the entailment triplets. And we use a few methods to create the contradictory triplets. So given a true uh, triplet head relation tail or HRT. We perform three different operations to create the contradictory triplets. The first one is we substitute one of the spans. The second one is we substitute the relation with some other relation. And the third one is we reverse the direction of the triplet. So instead of head relation tail, it becomes tail relation head. The second task is span extraction where the first two elements of the triplet, the head and the relation are given. And the objective is to extract the tail span from the dialogue. So we formulate this task as a squad style question answering task where the question is created from the head and, and the relation. And the answer is the tail, which is to be predicted from the dialogue. We show an example of this task in this slide. Here, the question is created using templates depending upon the specific relation type and the answer to be extracted. And the answer is to be extracted from the dialogue. The third task is multi-choice span selection where again, a dialogue and a partial information about a triplet is given. And the goal is to predict the missing span from a number of choices. This is again formulated as a multi-choice question answering task. The correct option is the originally annotated, annotated tail span, and the incorrect options are created using an adversarial filtering technique. So an example of this task is shown here. We create the question using the same process as before, using the same process as the previous task. The correct option is the original span from the dialogue, and the other three options are wrong or confounding options, which uh, some of them are extracted from the same dialogue and sometimes it's, it also can be extracted from another dialogue. So for all the tasks, we use five-fold cross-validation to report the results. For dialogue level natural language inference, we fine-tune the state-of-the-art Roberta MNLI model. We notice that the overall macro F1 score is around 70%, leaving room for improvement. The recall scored 
is 76.8%, which suggests that almost three fourths of the Intel triplets are predicted correctly. However, the precision score is much lower at 37%, indicating that the model uh, predicts entailment for a lot of triplets, which are in fact contradictory. For the span extraction task, we fine tune a Spanbert model and a Robert the base model. We report the exact match or EM, no match or NM, and span level F1 scores. So these three scores are generally very commonly used in different question answering tasks. For exact match and F1, higher scores are better, whereas for no match, a lower score indicates better performance. Before fine tuning on our dataset, we have an additional stage of fine tuning of the Spanbert model in the squad dataset. And from the results, we see that the Spanbert model is actually substantially better than the Robertha model with large improvement across all the three metrics. However, the results for both the models are relatively on the lower side, indicating that state of the pretend models struggle with extracting the missing spans from the dialogues. Moving to the next task, multi-choice span selection. Here we use a BART and Robert the base model and report results in two settings. In the first setting, C and Q, the dialogue context is available to the model. Whereas for the second setting, which is only Q, the dialogue context is not available and the answer has to be given only from the question. The scores here are the accuracy of predicting the correct option. We see that not very surprisingly, the models perform much better when the context is available to the model. However, the performance of all the models stand much below than human level performance. To summarize our experimental study, we design three non-trivial inference and question answering tasks on the CIDAR dataset. We found that transformer-based language models find all the tasks, tasks to be challenging and non-trivial to solve. We also report some results where we found that reasoning across some categories such as causal common sense or social common sense are much more challenging compared to others. Finally, to conclude, we introduced CIDR, a new data set that focuses on common sense based explanation from dialogues. We also formulate several tasks to benchmark reasoning capabilities of natural language processing models. In the future, this line of work could be extended by building systems which can automatically create explanations and knowledge graphs from dialogues. And finally, that could be used to enhance overall dialogue understanding and improve several downstream tasks. So that was our work, CIDR in SIGDAL 2021. Do check out the project page and the data set and code, which has been released in GitHub. Thank you.